John? John. Yes. John. What? John. What? Tits. The tits now? Okay, tits? Let's that, that's not my name. The first four Johns, you got it right. <laughs> my name is not Tit. <laughs> Nemu exposed more of her cleavage in an absent-minded manner as if stripping down in the middle of the office was a regular occurrence. It might be. <clears throat> Despite being a young man with unavoidable interest in such matters, I had to remain above the games that these girls play. We'll be doing physical examination later. She's into that. She's into that. That left that left one girl aside from the one who hid from me. Oh, goth lady. Hello. Shit, I already have an insanely bad feeling. The servant of the dark song beckons you, my new master. The trials of this one have been grave, filled with many hopeless battles, and at uh -huh. the end I fear I have sustained a mortal wound. But I see that my brave black knight has, a, has arrived an appointed hour. <laughs> To save you from this lowly one, from her fate. Make haste, O Dark One, and taint this world with your black magic so that I may rise yet again, as not as a pitiful mortal, but as an undead. This here is referred to as a Chunibyo. Thanks to a certain late night anime, acting like a foolish middle schooler has been all the rage with the Akiba folk lately. That's a dig at somebody, I can't wait to find out. Yep. From light novels to Iroge to anime. What's Iroge? I have, well, it's fine. Well, it's like. Alexa! We'll figure it out. <laughs> What's your okay? Characters of this flock were prop. I didn't understand. Propagating everywhere. It was only a matter of time until they seeped into the idle world as well. <clears throat> oh, Dark One, why do you pause so? Is that you desire to see this maiden suffer? Yes. Not feeling like playing along, I just looked at her information from my portfolio. Yes. 20 years old, high school diploma, but everything else on a resume after that was a giant blank. No work experience in the idle industry. Hashimoto Mik Mikasan, oh. I presume. Oh, uh, I look forward to working with you. Oh, the dark one acknowledged this one. <laughs> Shut up, Chunichan. Nobody can ever understand what you're saying. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. The re the day that I realized that I liked DDLC was when uh -huh. Sayori was like, it's better to skip breakfast. It's better to skip breakfast. <laughs> that seemed to put a stop to Mika's act. She pouted and looked away from Aki. So the two of them didn't get along. I'll have to be careful. Wait, well, that was everyone for now. Aki, where's Sasa-chan? <laughs> Who is Sasa Chan? It's her! She's oh, the you're Sasa Chan. The Sayori of the game. Aww. Appeared in the break room and pulled her out. Ah. Can't wait for you to hang yourself. <laughs> you fuck yourself. She was the one from that incident. The one that got me fired from. Oh. What? That shit thickens. No wonder she hit herself the instant she saw me. What was she doing? Come to think of it, she most likely got fired after what happened too. Did she sign on with Shining Productions after that? It was too convenient. Most likely the professor purposefully hired the both of us to work together, precisely knowing the details of the incident. With his dick. With his dick. W that would explain why a fire producer like me was suddenly hired out of the blue for this agency. God, I this great game. <laughs> this is gonna quickly become fuck this great game. So the professor played a fast one on me, huh? I rubbed the back of my head in frustration. Eh? Something wrong? No. For now, I didn't want to share the particulars of my exit from Golden Calf with the other girls. Shimazaki sama sasami san, I look forward to working with you. Oh, I look forward to you too, Mr. Producer. With that said, she retreated behind he the other girls. <laughs> Sasa, you're always too shy. You never become an idol with that kind of attitude. I'm just going to say. With that, the self introductions were over. As if on cue, President Okada walked through the door with a brand new glass of Satori whiskey. Good morning. You didn't say that. Oh there. wow, was, we're all here already. I was okay. I was thinking that you're gonna go straight to Crystal Vodka. <laughs> Crystal Skull Vodka. There's a lot of girl here. I'm gonna have to move on. Ah, good morning, everyone. My apologies for my tardy arrival. It appears you have already met your new producer. She introduced me once more to the girls. Nishiyami is a female student of mine. While she's still young, she is a diligent worker who will do everything in his power to turn everyone into successful idols. Please work hard together. I'm counting on each and every one of you. As I said, starting from today, I am Shining Production's new producer. I just noticed those short shorts on number three. Yep, yep. I yep. hope she's comfy and happy. Even though we're starting from scratch, I want to accomplish big things together. Also, uh, the blonde one's junk looks like a smiley face. Makes me happy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> big things, huh? I under Shut up! <laughs> I understand all of you applied to become talents at our agency. Before we formalize your work contract, there are certain- Circle it. There are certain- Circle it. There are certain- Editor Johnny. Criteria. Circle it. That need to be met. Circle the smiley face, please. First, we'll begin with physical examinations, followed by individual interviews. We are still a small agency, 
So in the end, you are our only applicants. Please do your best to relax and convey your natural personality. How are they only applicants if they got a poster back there behind number three? So <laughs> <laughs> Oni-chan, sure a pervert. Wanted to see Aki-chan and the way she was born the first day on the job. Yeah, I do. I'll be wearing swimsuits, obviously, while you're preparing for the examination. Please also take your measurements. Of course, they will be kept confidential, so feel at ease. Nobody has to know about your boobies. You will take them to prepare your stage uniform, so do your best to get accurate results. Now, does this place have a changing room? I looked around and found nothing. It's right here. <laughs> this is the changing room. It's gay. Look at look time. at her face. Number, look at her face. Number four, she's like, mm. Number four knows. Time for the producer to vacate. With the grin, she charted me out of the office into the cold hallway. No boobies today. Meanwhile, son of a dick. Julie stood <laughs> on her tippy toes and grabbed a cardboard box from the top of a steel shelf. Oh, she's so worried. <laughs> While Maria was the tallest of the bunch, it was clear from her drunken swaying that she lacked the capacity to grab the box. This is where they are. She's not drunk. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Aki dropped a coil of measuring tapes on the Yahoo! table. Yeah, let's get nude. Well, I guess we have to. Eager. Listen Jeez. up, girls. The new professor's up to no- Fuck Producer. you! <laughs> I, guess I recognize his face back from when I was with Golden Calf. God damn it. Did I blow the place up? Jesus. Yeah. Even though we've never talked personally, all the men who work there are the same. He'll sucker us up with big promises like we'll be famous and have millions of fans. He'll probably go on and on about how we can get us lives and how great the idols he produces turn out. And then he'll sign us up for a bunch of fishy contracts and that's when the nice guy act will end. He'll force us to do this and that, topless photo shoots, <gasps> make us eat bugs on live television. What? And that's just... <laughs> And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Who knows what punishment they, they may devise next. And after he's through with us, he'll just cut us loose and say things like, you're just not fresh enough anymore. Away from the eyes of the producer, Aki's personality had been completely transformed. transformed. We all know Maria's not cut out for this sort of work. What's wrong with putting ourselves out there? I say bring on the revealing <laughs> That's okay, I'll show my titties. <laughs> uh... <laughs> an idol who's scared of fan service doesn't deserve to be an idol at all. Just because Maria screwed up to become an screw up her shot to become an idol doesn't mean she has to ruin it for the rest of us. Ooh. You don't even know half of what it's like. Everyone? Oh my dirt dirt! <laughs> She's so fucking cute. The producer's not that bad. I think we should trust him. Oh, girls who trust so each other so easily get eaten alive in the industry, you know. Eaten alive. I know him back when we worked at Golden Calf. Why didn't you say something earlier? Cause some stuff happened and we can't talk about it in act one. <laughs> We've only met him once. <laughs> and you think we should just trust him because of that? And anyway, that was wait. enough for me to believe. He's not really a bad guy. So wait, both of these girls worked for Golden Calf? Uh, two and three, at two, least. Two and three worked for Golden Calf. I promise I'll learn their names before the end of the series. I will not. Just what makes you think that? Well, her voice trailed off. <gasps> Maybe Sasa confessed to the producer that one time. No, that's not it. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> With that, the girls finished stupid. putting on the swimsuits and measuring themselves. The discussion left unresolved. Here we go! The Shining Productions office consisted of just a small break room and main office. There was a separate dance studio on the first floor of the tenement with the office leased for practices. Uh -huh. Overall, we had the absolute minimum level of facilities required to run an idol agency. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Calf office is where I used to work. And floors upon floors of photo stages, various sets used for shooting PVs, as well as facilities for talents such as spas, pools, and restaurants. We essentially worked in squalor. <clears throat> I sat at my new desk, located at one of the corners of the office space, and reviewed the girls. The physical examination was mostly to check for obvious problems with the talent's physical- Fuck you! Well, th listen, this Look, is- I, I know, I know. What makes this better than DDLC is it's like, fuck you, we're gonna get real right away. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. Large birthmarks, stretch marks, scars, etc. reduced a certain candidate's commercial value, and so every talent had to be screened for such defects. It's bullshit. But... I'm just a producer. Put those pitchforks down. <clears throat> oh, you guys are all so freaking cute. Um, please slowly rotate yourself so I can get a clear view of you from every angle. Throw that ass in a circle. <laughs> it didn't see me like any of them had any problems. Not like I anticipated any. In a circle, As Brian. one could expect from girls applying to be idols, each of their bodies had their respective charm. There was no question that the average man on the street would be overjoyed to have any one of these girls express interest in him. Do you want Aki-chan in a sexy pose? Uh, please, no. Everyone passes. Get dressed. <laughs> Kinda meant we were all headed to the beach or something. We weren't gonna do that in February, dick. <laughs> Figures. 
Zemmy will be debuting as a unit. An absolute unit. Aki poked her head into my personal space by leaning on my desk. Mm -hmm. That's currently in the planning stages. From now, the presumption is that all seven of you will be working together in the same unit. Of course, that does not rule out the possibility of subunits or solo work as well. In other words, nothing has been decided. They lingered in their swimsuits, apparently too focused on asking me questions. I could understand where they were coming from, though. No doubt they all had questions about what was going to happen next. What about photo shoots, radio shows, or TV appearances? We're working on that, too. Aki-chan wants to do some sexy gravure. gravure. She winked at me and bent down, pulling attention to her collarbones. By the way, women's collarbones. Right? Women, figure it out. That's really cute. I'm just glad you got meat on your bones, man. Damn. <clears throat> Never mind that. We need a debut song before anything. <laughs> we actually have to have musical material. I Thank you. Thank you. So you have a writer lined up? No, I'll be writing it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what? I may not look like it, but I'm a composer as well. Would you look at that? P. Kuhn's surprisingly talented. I'll have to listen to what makes what he makes before making that judgment. We can get right to the interviews then, despite the girls wearing nothing but swimsuits, none of them particularly seemed opposed to just discussing uh, as spectator vital candidates. As you know, are now likely aware, our company requires all talents to follow a code of conduct. Now, I'll say we're a little more relaxed than most agencies, but please, try to be nice. First Dude, off, don't, don't say fuck, okay? okay? Jesus Christ, okay, first off, have any of you had any past or current relationships with men? None of you? Obviously not. What? Okay. Aki-chan's too young for that. She's the little one because she's much shorter. Not in such a loser. Never even had a boyfriend before. <clears throat> I claim no experience myself. None. The Dark Lord is the only man I serve. <laughs> Mika, Jesus. Look at her face, though. <laughs> Look at her face, though. That she's like, yes, but also Satan. <laughs> well, no surprises there. Besides, even if the girls are total players who cycle one guy every week, it's not like they were ever going to confess to their producers right now. She's 25. Are you serious? Well, she ain't talking right now. She, I, it's just... It... The only reason why producers ever ask this question is to set up a legally valid claim for fraud if we discover later that the girls aren't as virginal as they claimed. I'm just performing my do... Oh, she just said that she sucked off her producer to stay afloat. No, she didn't say that. It's she just like... said it at the beginning no, of the no, game. We'll, no, we'll, we'll tackle that later. Absolutely not. After asking a few more questions and receiving various non-generic, non-offensive answers from the girls, the interview concluded. Everyone passes. Oh, she hap! Wasn't it obvious? We're the only candidates. For now, I've prepared a lesson plan of dance and vocal practices. Please devote yourself. Understood. I guess we don't really have a choice. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Wait, do you want to work or not? Now, please get prepared Jesus. for the afternoon dance session. The girls eyed me. Don't do that. Oh. Off we go. <laughs> Oh, everyone's so freaking cute with their little jackets and their t-shirt. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> This is a little exciting, isn't it? It feels like things are starting up again. I wonder what our new dance instructor is going to be like. I hope he's not too strict. I enter the room, <laughs> pushing a cart with a DVD player and a TV set on top. The girls gather around as I push the cart to the front of the studio. I put a DVD into the player and turn the screen on. A recording of a dance instructor played on the TV. These DVDs will cover your lessons from now. <laughs> oh, oh, Aki's pouty. You mean we won't even have to live and then we won't even have live instruction? Figures, I guess you guys are too cheap for an instructor. That girl has one hell of a mouth. She seemed like one of those provincial blockheads who just spoke off in whatever was in her head without a lick of restraint. I like those ladies. I rubbed the back of my head feeling mm. super awkward. Please bear with us. <clears throat> they stared at me with enthusiasm wiped from their eyes. Everyone's pouty. <laughs> the girl slumped through practice with the barest minimum of effort. Everyone sighed and changed. Into... What the fuck is this? Oh, it's what? the menu. Okay. Uh, go work. You're so fucking cute. I hope you get everything you want in life. Everyone's a little down, aren't they? That goes without saying. I'm a little disappointed. I thought the agency would be better than this. Are we really gonna be idols? <laughs> At least we messed up our chances before. It's not like we're pretty youngins anymore. The train's already sailed past. Train's already sailed past. Ah, for whatever. We gotta get to work now. Are you still drunk? What do you expect? How do you survive in this town doing just that? What kind of work? Construction! <laughs> She's so fucking happy to be doing construction. She's like, I like to hit things. I like to carry things. I like to build things. And, yeah. Sorry. What about you, Sasa? 
I'll just uh, help out my parents' business. It's a karaoke bar. I met a, I met a weird Russian chick there once. Mm -hmm. it sounds nice. Holy crap. I live with my parents. Everything's easier when you're young, huh? It's not like I want to be, but I don't really have a choice. What about Mika and the rest? This one's life is devoted to the Black Road. A servant of the Black does not require earthly sustenance. Devotion to the path is all that one needs. In other words, you're a neat, huh? <laughs> 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 it's not good to have a job. Well, I guess I do some other stuff. Stuff? Ah, oh, look at the time. I gotta get going. Okay, let's get going. Stuff means that she sells her used panties online. I dangerous. am hoping not, but, uh... I saw one girl sell her socks for a Nintendo Switch. I hope she bought Odyssey, at least. I hope so. They went upstairs to say goodbye to me in the office and then exited the office. These transitions, I grew up on the transitions, that's today. I grew up on the transitions of uh, Panzer Mater's Colon Space, a tank dating simulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, were they were really good. They were awful. Wait, were they awful? Yeah, they were terrible. Said they were good. Of course, the purpose of a talent agency was to sell its talents. <sighs> I had to be constantly advertising our employees. That NA arranged for a professional photographer to come into our office and take pro photos of all our workers. I cleared out a section of our office and dropped down a little white curtain from a whiteboard to jerry-rig a makeshift photo stage. It was a far cry from the extravagant photo shoots of my previous workplace, but for now, this is the best we can do. The girls lined up to get their portraits taken one by one, or at least that was the plan. Nice. Are you... That's... God, you that, gotta come in sober. That's the most hungover I've seen any anime character ever. And that's, that's tough when you watch anime about kids. Mm-hmm. She's 25. Maria, are you drinking late again? I can't really help it. I didn't get out of work till four. Eight, two. Wow, you have an issue. Oh, shoot. No, she probably works at a bar or something. I really don't know how older geezers twice my age can smoke and drink the night away and then show up to work the next day. Baldi showed up again to play, complain about his ex-wife, kept ordering whiskey all night. Out of the fourth one, I was feeling kind of out of it. Don't, why are you drinking on the job? I turned a blind eye to what was happening. While certain agencies no doubt had throw a hissy fit about one of their talents moonlighting as a hostess bar, it was clear all the girls had their various circumstances. I was no exception myself. Anyway, I knew it well enough that the girls here had to supplement their income with additional jobs to survive. Becoming an idol wasn't a walk in the park. The world spun around according to its own rules, and nobody here was going to change that. Shimazaki-san! Oh, you're so- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna say that every time. It's she got okay. a cute little bow. I hope she's okay. <laughs> That's my desktop. That's my desktop. <laughs> Formerly with Golden Calf, she appeared to me as the girl next door kind of persona. Of course, that's what these characters have been popular forever. In more recent years, they suffer from competition with newer and more aggressive character types. Yeah. Basically, they appealed to more conservative fans who like something traditional. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, she was avoiding contact with me at all costs thanks to the incident. With my penis. <laughs> Kashiwagi. <laughs> Watch me. Believe it. <laughs> thanks for laughing. Perhaps the girl with the greatest potential here. While she was obviously going to have to drop her child idol image, she still had ample time left in her prime. It was hard to pin down exactly what her personality was like. She was a shapeshifter, able to provide her audience's expectations. Honestly, Aki was whoever people wanted her to be. She was a child molded and raised by the industry. Was I supposed to be concerned or proud about that? Yamamoto! Concerned, concerned as fuck. Okay, here's... There you wow! Go. That was a turnaround. <laughs> She had the most experience out of all the talent, but also came with an assortment of liabilities. She was almost also a former golden calf talent. No doubt they threw her under the rug as soon as she outgrew her use. After some research, discovered she had debuted seven years ago in the 21-member Kazar unit, but never attains much notoriety. <clears throat> Fuck. Huge, oh, huge units were like that. <laughs> most were set up to encourage infighting amongst the members, and they tried to climb into the Covenant's top spot. While those unable to survive the bloodbath were pushed into obscurity. 21 people. That's way too many people in a band. It's let me too tell many you. people. After she turned 24, Golden Calf quietly retired her, and then she wandered jobs until she ended up at Shining Productions. 21 people? That's pretty. That's a lot of people. Now she was a jaded woman of 25 that's years not a old. Pop st that, that's a freaking choir, man. With an uh, alcohol and tobacco problem. While well, you think someone like that could never become an idol, you'd be surprised just how common these problems were. Even among the most popular idols. Hey, I'm not here to sugarcoat this business. I've seen some crazy stuff myself. The Nabe. Oh, la la la, little tiger shirt. 
Oh. Oh, a true wild Ooh. card. She had no prior experience in the industry. Honestly, mm -hmm. she had a huge mouth linked into the worst possible words at the worst possible times. I love it. However, she had an incredibly fit body and the stamina of a beast. Nowadays, honest girls were popular too. This industry had been spewing out obedient wife material for decades. So now people wanted to see girls in their native habitat. <laughs> or at least that would be the angle I would use to sell her. Okay, okay. Three at a time is fine. When we come back, I got no more girls. You got no more girl? Are I you done no with more, girls? I got I need I need more girls in my life. Is oh, what I'm okay, saying. you need more girls. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, well. Alright, well then we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Not as much as I love fucking cutie patootie. I know, right? Right?